This is a, a reel in Irish, Reel of Sligo Mids, Lament. And this is lilting now, what we call the lilting up here in the north. And the thinkers call it uh, jigging and uh, down about Kerry and the other end of the monster, they call it post music and that. And sometimes we call it doodling too, but they used to lilt in the country houses at the country dances before they got fiddlers or in a, a district that they hadn't very good fiddlers. Sometimes if you had an old scrappy fiddler, he was helped out by the lilters. But three women were often known to lilt and provide the music for a wedding party, say about 80 years ago or about that time. And uh, they danced uh, quadrilles and reels and jigs and hailings and things like that to the lilting dust. Well, right old jolly music. Little, <laughs> 
When I opened the boot of the car here outside tonight, I didn't have them. I lo- forgot them. So I'm going to do the best I can without them. And this is the fiddle. Yeah, I just, I'm holding all the weight. Can you walk forward, please? You're not holding all the weight. You need to lift. You're not holding any weight. Wait, out. Will you come around?
better than this. Be nice on this side. Pop back together now. So it's more natural light than that side. What? It'll be more natural light there because the door is there. Except we don't really need to worry about after. If you wanted light switches in here, you're going to be talking into the thousands for it. We can't be wasting money like that, you know. We're just going to make it as simple as possible. You can turn on your lights down at the bottom of the stairs, outside the bathroom, and come on up then and the lights will be on for you already. I think you're always going to get that. The light switches aren't always going to be in the room you're, you're requesting to be in. But I think it's nicer being able to turn off the light switch before you get to the room. It's, turn common, it off. it's common, you know. It, people people get lazy, you know, but if you be trained to turn that light switch off and you're at the bottom of the stairs, and then make a bit Bob's your uncle, uh, Mary's your aunt, job done. We, we pride ourselves on delivering the highest quality finish to jobs that we do. And you're just, you're just going to get that. The light switches might not always be exactly where you want them, or they mightn't exactly be in the room that you're that you're asking for them in. But that's you're always going to get. That's stuff what like architects that. now don't understand. Uh, they don't need to go exactly where it says in the drawing. Because at the end of the day, we're building houses. We're not drawing pictures. Oh, I am married to our wife, and I plow the fields by day. Did you measure it? Yeah. You're a better man than me. Where's this blimmin' hammer? Frig it in there. Handy Brothers painting and decorating. Handy Brothers P&D. Passing, floorboarding. Demolition. Demolition, we do it all. Do a bit of them. Now, that express nail is too small for that piece no, of wood. No, it's it? not that. It's, it's, it, you're you're going to get it that. It went into a joint. You're going to get you're that. You're going to get that. It was supposed to. We thought it, we were trying to go into the stone here, but this is stone wall. You're going to get problems with a stone wall. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You're not one of these snowflakes, are you? <laughs> you don't know what a snowflake is. That's what everyone's saying now. All the guys in the tennis club are saying, call each other snowflakes and stuff like that. For, Anyone's crying about something, you know? Fuck. Yeah. Fucking lefties. It's fucking, you're a fucking snowflake. <laughs> yeah, say that to me again, man. I'll, I'll put you to the ground, really. I'll, I'll, I'll rub you tackle you to the ground. <laughs> See, there's not going to be a window here, but there's going to be curtains, and you're going to get that sometimes. You can't always have a window where you want. You just have to make do sometimes. We had to make do when we were younger. You're gonna get little things like that, it'll be different. Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with you? You're not one of these snowflakes, are you? <laughs> you don't know what a snowflake is. That's what everyone's saying now. All the guys in the tennis club are saying, call each other snowflakes and stuff like that for anyone's crying about something, you know? Fuck. Yeah. Fucking lefties. It's fucking, you're a fucking snowflake. <laughs> Yeah, say that to me again, man. I'll, I'll put you to the ground, really. I'll, I'll, I'll rub you tackle you to the ground. <laughs> See, there's not going to be a window here, but there's going to be curtains, and you're going to get that sometimes. You can't always have a window where you want. You just have to make do sometimes. We had to make do when we were younger. You're going to get little things like that. It'll be different. Well, I'm delighted, I have to say, Andrew. Thank you for the day. It's just mad that you can sit on the floor here now. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't yeah. have sat on the floor here. Because it was Martin's mad. Martin's loving it. He's loving it. I'd say he's going to sit there a lot. I bet you. Woo! Get fucking tarp and paint. I'll be back to that van. Send, send boys in the hardware giveaway for a long stand. The young. Tiny <laughs> 
This is a, a reel in Irish Reel the Sligo Mids Lament. And this is lilting now, what we call the lilting up here in the north. And the thinkers call it uh, jigging and uh, down about Kerry and the other end, the monsters, they call it post music and that. And sometimes we call it doodling too. But they used to lilt in the country houses at the country dances before they got fiddlers or in a, a district that they hadn't very good fiddlers. Sometimes if you had an old scrappy fiddler, he was helped out by the lilters. But three women were often known to lilt and provide the music for a wedding party, say about 80 years ago, or about that time. And uh, they danced uh, quadrilles and reels and jigs and hailings and things like that to the lilting dust. Well, right old jolly music. Little, <laughs> 
How is that? Are you all uh, everything you need. Oh yeah. You're all, all set for tonight, you understand what we want you to do? We just don't want any messing in the chat. Keep it simple. Anyone saying anything smart to us, like you you're not as good as other people and that just ban them immediately. Uh, anyone says anything about Sean's moustache, even if they say, Oh nice moustache, they could be messing. Ban them. Yeah. Ban them. Sure. Sure. Right? Yeah. And so do you need anything else? No. Oh no, we're sorted here. Here will you will you clean up after yourself as well? You've only been here half an hour. Hey, enjoy yourselves, lads. Wankers. <coughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the fifth Mary Wallerford live stream. It's great to see you again. Uh, five times in one month. How do you like that? Holy well, it's been about three months. <laughs> we we've moved to a new pub because the only thing better than building one pub in your in your house is building two pubs in your house. It's bigger, faster, and better than ever before. And so are we. We're all bigger as well. And tonight, of course, in the corner, you've already seen them. We have two uh, off-duty undercover guards there in the corner. They're doing great stuff. So we don't want any messing in the chat. Uh, well, they, do, they especially don't. They're very, very serious men, aren't you, lads? Yeah, they are, yeah. They're fucking... Uh, and they're full of crack as well, as you can see. They so, laugh a minute, you know, they, don't, they don't like too much messing and they're right. Any, uh, any legal advice you can ask the lads there as well if you're concerned about anything legal, maybe you're having a row with your neighbour like Pat Kenny was and uh, <laughs> you want to figure out the legality of the whole situation, don't be afraid to ask the lads. They haven't given us their names but they were better cracked than the customs officers we interviewed. So they'll be, uh, we'll be getting back in with them tomorrow night. We're going to have songs about statues, we're going to have songs about Whoa. cops, we're going to have songs about going yeah, down to the know. Phoenix Park and... You have, right. a, you have a poem about a statue? Yes, I do. And we'll start off with this poem. It's an excerpt. So I'll read it off a piece of paper. He was great in uh, speech and drama in class in primary school. <laughs> this is an excerpt of The Ballad of Goff by Vincent Caprani. There are strange things done from 12 to 1 in the hollow in the Phoenix Park. There are maidens mobbed and gentlemen robbed in the bushes after dark. But the strangest of all within human recall concerns the statue of Goff. Twas a terrible fact and a most wicked act for his bollocks they tried to blow off. Here's another song based in the Phoenix Park. Oh, trouble and strife, it is no lark when Dublin City is in the dark. So if you any money, go up to the park and view the zoological gardens. We went out there on our honey. Oh, no. I went out there with Cass and Nox, said she. Me dear, we'll cure you in the lock. Then I knew she was one of the rare stuff in the zoological gardens. My love, if you don't come soon, I'm going to jump in with the hairy baboon up in the zoological garden. So we went out there at seven o'clock. Said she, now I should be changing my frock, but I'd like to see the owl rocket tail up in the zoological garden. I'm 
a big ship oh you're rigged for a naft and you're lovely and long like the sparring giraffe up in the zoological garden then said she to me oh me lovely jack oh i love a ride on the elephant's back but if you don't move that hand will give you such a crack up in the zoological garden oh thunder and lightning Go up to the park and view the zoological gardens. Wow. And I thought zoos were places of awful cruelty. No. And that, <laughs> that, uh, that song was a request from Alex for all the boys in Island Bridge. With a special shout out to Pierce, who also liked Charles a few weeks ago. For any of you live stream fans have noticed, he broke his leg as well. Uh, My leg's still not right after that. Still not right, so be Generally. very careful if you're doing any extreme sports, just <coughs> watch yourself. So. Do you like the do you like these? Jeez, they are swanky. I know. You demonstrate one if you want. You could demonstrate one. Sean's the official pint pour of the Mary Wellers. Right, yeah, go on, get it. Sit down, Sean. Sit down. Do you time? Yeah, so go on, go on. Bar, the fridge actually works in the new bar. She's fully stopped. <laughs> fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> And we got beautiful new uh, uh, pint glasses here, and we were originally going to put them on our on our website and all that for you to buy, but we decided we're to shake things up a little bit. We've decided uh, maybe you shouldn't buy them. Uh, you should only be able to win them. So we had a drawing competition during the week, and we got a, a serious amount of drawings in, so there'll be some of these pint glasses given away tonight, not only to the people who entered the drawing competition, but also if you say something funny in the chat, yeah, and, and, it, and it's like we, we want to get... We can give them yeah, away. They, they, they work and everything. They do work. Get a nice, get a nice pour on that. There you go, there you go. It's like they come to life when you pour Guinness in them. Like Sean. Like he, he, so, Beamish. Beamish, sorry, whatever it is. He wouldn't drink that Guinness dirt. That dirt. That Poshed that out. Dirt Guinness. Poshed out. Oh, I just if Beamish don't start sending us down little parcels of cans, they'll be dirt soon as well. <laughs> no, see that. Where would you get it, huh? So you can only win these, so make it sure and cooperate. Be, uh, and there's a wee pig on it, is there? Yeah. That's great. And there's a wee pig holding <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen a hoof wrapped around a pint glass before. Uh, He's very good with the trottles. Let me see what else we have to say. Yeah. Right, so tonight as well, if you donate our live stream, last week, uh, Women's Aid was the live stream donation choice. Women's Aid Dundalk, to be particular. And you raised €626 Euro for Women's oh, Aid yeah. Dundalk. So Ooh. fair play, because it's a, it's a great cause, especially with that, that old flu that's going around. Uh, and also, this week now... 50% of donations goes to uh, Vincent de Paul, or Vincent's, I think, is what they're called. Vincent's, no? Vincent's. Getting Vincent's. Time. They're getting rid of the church bill. Oh, That's great. Right. Well done, <laughs> Vincent. Right. Uh, donate uh, <laughs> for that alone. Donate but, uh, for that alone. So anyway, yeah, donate to them. And also, anyone who bought a beautiful Dundalk Against t Change t-shirt during the week, uh, we've raised over €4,200 for Maasai, the refugee charity. So if you bought one of those t-shirts, well done. And if you didn't buy one of the t-shirts... Good luck styling it next summer. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what have we got now? I do, yeah, I do a song now. I do a song now. And now, also, remember to send into your comments uh, to them guards there in the corner. Are you, are you reading the comments, lads? Yeah. All right. Okay. They're hard, they're hard work. Yeah, they're very hard workers, aren't they? They'll always be flat out, hey? Lay it down. Yeah, flat out. I don't like the way the, the other one is looking at me. Do you see your man? He's making me nervous. Your man at the recruiting agency said that you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this song called? This is a song called The Rich Man and the Poor Man. Beautiful. And it's about how if you have money, the likelihood of you being a bollocks just flies out <laughs> up, up and up higher and higher. It's a banana. <laughs> there you go. There was a rich man and his name it was the Vizium. Glory, hallelujah, hire a drum. He 
held high dinners for the swanks of Jerusalem. Glory, hallelujah, higher a Jerum. And there was a poor man to work, he wasn't able to yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a Jerum. He begged for the crumbs from the rich man's a table yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a Jerum. The poor man died and he went up to heaven yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. A dinner with the angels at half past eleven yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. The rich man died, but he didn't do so well, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. The devil came up and dragged him down to hell, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. Higher a jerum, higher a jerum. Skidam a rink a doodalum, skidam a rink a doodalum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. First thing he asked for was whiskey and a sodium. A glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. The devil said, no, now, no, the shovel and the coleum. A glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. The second thing he asked for was jelly in the bolium. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. And the devil said, no, this is no fucking hotel, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. Higher a jerum, higher a jerum. Let's get them a rink a doodalum, let's get them a rink a doodalum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. And now me song is ending, the truth I have to tell, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. And if you don't believe me, you can all go to Hellium. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. The moral of the story is that money is no joke, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. But we're on our way to heaven, cause we're all stony broke, yum. Glory, hallelujah, higher a jerum. Higher a jerum, higher a jerum. Skid a wink a doodalum, skid a wink a Garrett's, that's what Garrett's you could at least clap, like. Don't be pushing them. Don't be pushing them. Thanks, everyone. That was a song called Rich Man and the Poor Man. That's what you'll get now for uh, being greedy. <laughs> that's what you have to do. And that's what's, that's what's coming to you if you have money. Unless, so, of course, you give it to us. <laughs> we'll, we'll gladly face hell for riches. <laughs> We've often faced worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a song for the boys, and... Oh my goodness, Wow. This is Rebel's Age. This is the original slave. Jason, I hope you get it right now. You win. If there's anyone there has a moment to spare and could give undivided attention, I'd be grateful if you'd give a minute or two and consider some points I would mention. There are slanderous tongues ever ready to wrong And to murder the fine reputation Of those lads with big feet who by pounding the beat Are protecting the peace of the nation There are short-sighted folks Who insist that these blokes are but uniformed masters of thuggery There can be no dispute if they didn't put the boot in The country would sure go to buggery so try and keep calm when they're twisting your arm or planting a fist in your gob when they're giving you hell in a cold prison cell or oh, they're only just doing their job when Hitler and co were running the show assisted by Germany's coppers if a nose was too big or a mind was too active its owner was sure of the chopper Socialists, communists, Jews and trade unionists ended up dead or in quad. And the police were in there, of course, doing their share. 
Ah, but they were just doing their job. Il Duce, the bully, and Franco, his colleague, both loaded their countries with chains. In the front ranks of these two dirty wanks was the police of both Italy and Spain. In Hong Kong, Minneapolis, Guatemala, the call working people, the mob. And the screams and the yells from the punishment cells show the police are just doing their job. If you're black or just brown, if you're jobless and down, if you speak for the world which is saner, if you stand up and fight for what's yours by your right, if you're a North Frederick Street campaigner, then try and keep calm and they're twisting your arm or planting a fist in your gob. Wherever there's trouble or whatever the struggle, they're only just doing their job. That was beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Very good. There. That's what he's making up I, I think you didn't think you made two friends, too many friends with that, that one now, Sean. No, no, no. So we're not here to make friends, are we, lads? <laughs> have we, have we, we're uh, not here to make friends, sorry, are we, lads? Uh, have, have we any comments? Have you got any comments for us? Yeah, that, that fella may watch himself. Oh, me? No, that, that fella. Oh, yeah. so, you know, get me off the road, don't <laughs> <laughs> All right. But, but, but look, let's try and enjoy yourselves. It's grand. It'll be, it'll be fine. Comments for us there. We should. Like oh, I have, my own, I, have, I, I have actually been collecting, as I said last time, all the clever people send in the re requests. Oh, we have outs. the early shout outs as well. Oh. The er we have, have the early ones here now. <laughs> the early household. The early bird menu. There's no, no use of that. Board okay, board. here we go. First shout out <coughs> is for our Antonia Gardner from Limerick. Uh, your granddaughter says hello, and I would like to add hello to Limerick in general. I can't wait to get back down and see. Ty Moore, congrats on finishing your doctorate. Uh, he's doctorate. 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 Doc doctorate. You can tell we never went to college. Uh, he's now a doctor of lakes from uh, uh, B. Moore. So, well done, Ty. You're a great lad. Um, let me see. Will I do another one? I will do another one. Is that our, our Ty Moore? <laughs> That's our Ty Moore, yeah. yeah, yeah. Fair play, Ty. Yeah. Well done, Ty. Good lad. Shout out to Jack McKenna from Cloda Redmond. And Cloda sent us in an email and also sent us in a draw. And, uh, yes, that, that was really very chosen. unprofessional. That was very unprofessional. I'm sorry to be frightened. That was not fully really damaged. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, Jack uh, McKenna from Cloda Redmond. Cloda sent in a draw and also said... That when Jack first showed her the Mary Wallopers, she thought, what the hell is this shit? <laughs> 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 but she's since come around and it's great to have you on board, Cloda. It doesn't matter uh, how late you are to the party, once we'll you're at the party, you. we'll have you. You're welcome. So, hello, <laughs> Jack and Cloda. Uh, uh, you can do one now, yeah. And we have a shout out to our friend Nathan watching in Colleville. Good man, Nathan. He loves the Oh, he's a good man. Uh -oh. He loves the ballads. Uh, up and tearing England down. Go on, Matt. good man, Nathan. Emily O'Brien says in the chat there she had a group about Charles, or she had a dream about Charles. She was very sound. You, you were very sound in the dream. I was very sound in the dream. Jesse, wait till you see him. Jesse, wait till you see me in a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Uh, Emily O'Brien. Emily O'Brien, thank you for dreaming about. And uh, Dare says thanks for the tight shot of Sean's clada, letting the girls know what he's all about. <laughs> Can we get another cl clip of it. Look at that. <laughs> now is that face the right way around? That's the out outweighs, isn't it? What does outweighs mean, Charlotte? Uh, educate us. You're, you're free, isn't it? You're single. Uh, single. And with the confidence you said that, you know you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it means you're f free. <laughs> Look, he's not the sweat, boy. Oh, uh, right, uh, what, uh, have you another shout out there? For your yes, Sean. Yes, Sean. Yes, Sean. Sean, go on, go on, Sean. Don't want to get rid of him too soon either. Um, go on, Jan. Big shout out to Dead Rabbit Whiskey for uh, sending us <laughs> another bottle. I don't know what they're trying to do to us. They're trying to do us anything. Send us bottles of whiskey the whole time. Lovely. And then they're going to start fair, their own group. We goosed the last one anyway. We did actually. Two, we loved the last two. Lovely. We flitted them. And that's not even an ad. That's just them sending us free drink, and then we start talking about it. On anyone can send us free drink. We'll oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyone. It's, it's, not, a public, it's anyone. not a public call. It was beautiful. It was beautiful whiskey. Thank you very much, Dead Rabbit. You didn't need to do that, uh, but you did. Uh, have you got another shout out? Or you have another He's one? Yeah. For more, we um, have you got more? Shout later, out to no, Sinead on, on, Twiggy in, uh, in London. Just got word she'll be a doctor. So there you go. If anyone Woo! needs to be out fix up or anything in The next in time we Give fall and, and bust ourselves <laughs> drunk <laughs> in the streets of London, we'll be on to you. Uh, <laughs> there's one, Sean, there's a comment. You can read that out. It's going to be a joke, one, is it? No. 
How does Charles style his hair so effortlessly? Effortlessly. <laughs> an anonymous. How does Sean read out comments so effortlessly? Effortlessly. Uh, <laughs> oh, you can't! No! Uh, I don't. I put, I put a bit of work into it. But only when I'm coming on these live streams for you beautiful people. <laughs> Arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, what have you got? Tom, Daniel O'Neill, Sean O'Farrell, and Rob Ryan. Uh, watch every live stream. Fair fucking play. Yeah, I haven't watched every live well, stream. Well, it's not that much. There's only Since this the is start. the fifth one. Like. This is their fifth one. Amazing work, boys. Keep and it up. And also, there was Wait till the Mary right. Wallopers 27. So there we are now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we on next? We're on on another. We're on another song. It's your seat. I'm doing all right for for, oh. for time. Are we? Yeah. No, it's you, big man. Is it me? Lies. It, it oh, is they. Yeah, yeah. Come on, now that's oh, fuck. highly Very unprofessional, good. mate. <coughs> this the shout outs are half the crack. I'm sure, we love a bit crack here. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is something we used to do years ago, and then I stopped doing. And now I'm gonna do it again. It's amazing the way you can come back from something, isn't it? <laughs> We're all about just, you know, developing. Do you want me to play the bow on it or do you want to just leave it? If you like, I don't care. Ah. Well, maybe. Whatever. Ah, yeah. Wait, did you want me to play the bow on it? I don't need it. Maybe <laughs> whatever, you, whatever, whatever you. Just see what you think. See how it's going. Uh, maybe. I will. Yeah, go for it. Fuck it. See, come in. Come in a wee bit. See, we practice very vigorously yeah, before these live streams, but. No, dude, come, in, come in a bit in the way. This is a little anti war number. At the turning of the century, I was a boy of five. My father went to fight the boars and never came back alive. My mother brought us up in her own, no charity would she seek. She scraped and scrubbed along and only seven or six a week. At the age of twelve, I left my school, I went to get a job. With growing kids, me ma could do with the extra couple of bob. I knew that longer schooling might have stood me better yet. But you can't afford refinement when you're struggling for your bread. Oh, when the Great War started, I didn't hesitate. I took the royal shilling and they went to do me bit. We fought in blood and sweat and mud for years or thereabouts. Till I caught some gas in Flanders and was in the lead it out. Now when the war was over and we settled with the Hun, I then went back to City Street, I thought the fighting done. I went to get me wages, but soon was out of luck. For soon we had to fight for the right to go to work. In 36, the, uh, in 26, the general strike left the fall on the street. By then they had a wife and child, made needs they had to meet. But the brave new world was coming, and the brotherhood of man. Oh, very soon the strike was over, we were back where we began. I struggled through the thirties, I don't work now and again. I saw the black shirts marching and the things they did in Spain. But I brought me kids up decent, I taught them wrong from right. But Hitler came along and then they learned how to fight. Oh, me daughter was a land girl, she got married to the Yank. Me son, me won a medal, stopping one of Rommel's tanks. He was injured near the end of the war and convalesced to Rome. He married a nice nurse and never bothered coming home. My daughter writes me every week a cheerful little note about the colour telly and the other things she's got. She's a son of her own, a likely lad, he's just turned 21. But now we've been called out for the fight to Vietnam. On the pension and it doesn't go too far Not much to show for a life that's been like one long dirty war When I think of all the wasted lives it makes me want to cry I don't know how we'll change things but by Christ we better try Lovely! <laughs> Lovely! It's lovely, it's a great old song It'd be a sort of an anti-war number, would it? I don't like fighting Everyone, why can't everyone just get along? There's only one type of fighting, and that's fighting over a pint of Guinness. 
Like, in, do you remember the first live stream when you said that about me and Andrew? Fighting over a pint of Guinness. You said we were fighting, the only thing that would split us up was a pint of Guinness. Mm. Great, lad. <laughs> I don't actually remember that. Speaking of a pint of Guinness, uh, <clears throat> will I get another can of beam out of the fridge? <laughs> Go for that. You see, the, the new fridge now, it works and all. Yeah, well, maybe we should give them a little tour of the of all the stuff around us. Well, How do you like that? Do you well. want to go on a little go on a little walk? Oh, why not? I'll go over to the fridge here. Uh, this is all the things we have. We've got these pair of cowboy boots. Uh, Pat Kelly gave them to us. Good man, Good man, Pat. Pat. Good man Pat. He's a great lad. Uh, he has a shed out in Kilcurley with a load of stuff in it. So go and look at Pat Kelly's shed. And he might give you a pair of cowboy boots someday. <laughs> this is a uh, wine. We, we drank a bit of that. An old banjo. Here's a, a beautiful t-shirt that we were selling for a while. And um, if you didn't get one, tough luck. <laughs> and here's our fridge. Have you got anything to show them? Well, so, doing a bit like this, a restoration, you're going to run into some problems. Now, we wanted to have three windows in the room, but unfortunately there was only two. So what we did is we installed a curtain rail and a false window. But luckily, Aoife, Aoife Tiernan there over in London made us this beautiful picture of Martin and he looks great. He does, he looks very sexy in that. Do you think, I, I, I give him a go. <laughs> Jeez. You, you, you can leave the light on, leave the light on, Mom. Yeah. it's nice. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Good, so. Have a look. And then over here by Sean, there's a shrine to Jonesboro Market. <laughs> All the bits and bobs you have there. Yeah, you might, you might be hitting a light there now at that stage, but... Oh, sorry, Andrew, let's squeeze Sorry, Charles. I don't want people getting excited. The Hendy Bros are getting too <laughs> close again. Up and close oh. to the Hendy Bros. Right, will we knock into another song? So, yeah. Yeah. What's next? It's this big man next here. Next is me. I, I suppose I'll sing a song, huh? Oh, fuck. Watch yourself down there, boy. Fiddlers. <laughs> it's the Fiddlers, is it? The Fiddlers. <laughs> this is a song about a nightclub in Carrick Macross called The Fiddlers. <laughs> Joking. It's a song about drink driving from where, <laughs> where, where fishermen go to die. Oh my god, what can you do then? Do it in D. D. I do it in D for all the novices out there who don't know what bloody key I play the songs in. Finally. As I walked through the dockside one evening so fair To view the salt water and take the sea air I heard an old fisherman singing a song Saying take me away boys, me time is not long Wrap me up in me iron skins and jumpers No more on the dark side will be seen Just tell me I'll shipmates I'm taking a trip mates And I'll see you someday on Fiddler's Green Now Fiddler's Green is a place I've heard tell Where fishermen go if they don't go to hell Where the skies are all clear and the dolphins do play And the cold coast the Greenland is far, far away Wrap me up in me eyes, skins and jumper No more on the docks I'll be seen Just tell me I'll shipmates I'm taking a trip mates And I'll see you someday on Fiddler's Green Where the skies are all clear and there's never a gale and the fish jump on board with one swish of their tail. You lie at your leisure, there's no work to do. And the skipper's below, making tea for the crew. Wrap me up in the ice skins and jump on Shipmates, I'm taking a trip, mates, and I'll see you 
The dark and the land trip is around. There's <laughs> There's pubs and there's clubs and there's ladies there too And the girls are all pretty and the drink is all free And there's packets of fights going on every tree Wrap me up in any ice skins and jumper No more on the dark side we see Just tell me I'll ship me You could write such a beautiful song about a nightclub in Carrick McCross. <laughs> <laughs> the mind boggles. What have we got next? Are we doing another song or will we get John to... for a song? I will John for a song. Go on, John. <laughs> Why are you cursing? Why are you cursing? Fun fact about Sean is when he's been drinking the night before, he likes to be called John. He loves when we do it. Well, so we had a drink with Sean. It did, last yeah, the pint last night. Aye, you were on a live stream oh, drinking that. It's not night. drinking if you just have one pint, obviously, huh? It's not drinking if you just have one pint. And we did just have one, ladies and gentlemen. Right, go on, Sean. Go on, John. Go on, John. Sorry. <coughs> he doesn't like that. He doesn't he like it. Saying, Jesus. Farewell to the tent and the old caravan, to the tank 
Where them two girls in the corner start clapping at some of the songs. Two again. Our souls. They've no, <laughs> they've no, they've no uh, hand-eye coordination. How does a guard clap? <laughs> 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 Sorry, go. <Gord. Like> Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> like banging two sausages together. Anyway, uh, Sorry, Gord. Gord. I think you, I think I think you should do uh, uh, my song. First. I know I know that that's on, but I think it should be something more appropriate. Yeah. Do you know? Do me justice. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. I think considering considering the, the last two weeks that's been in it, I think there's a very important song All right. for Irish people to hear anyway. Fair enough. For everyone to hear. Especially when my brother is singing it. Where was I singing this? Huh? Who was I singing this? I don't know. I'm thinking it's okay. I didn't think it was such a big deal. <laughs> yeah, intro, in, 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 intro, you said it as well, hey? Anyway, this is a song about how Irish people were treated when they were abroad, and uh, it's about racism in general, so I suppose it's on topic. Oh, here I am from Donegal, I sit right discontented to see the way that we're run down. Not fairly represented. They say it is a general rule to treat all but a never fool. Ah, very well, we'll keep it cool and stand up for old Ireland. Do me justice, treat me fair, and I won't be discontented. I won't be laughed at anywhere but fairly represented. Now an honest stage I do appear with thunder and big shillelagh, with a ragged hat and tattered coat, you think I'd step out gaily with not a word of common sense. They don't know when they give offence Oh, they carry on at bad's expense But just let them come to Ireland Do me justice, treat me fair And I won't be discontented I won't be laughed at anywhere But fairly represented now there's Mr. Bull with his literature He tries to hurt us badly Whenever he paints our caricature He depicts us rather sadly With crooked limb and villainous face He does depicts the Irish race 
I think it is a great disgrace And they all say so in Ireland Do me justice, treat me fair And I won't be discontented I won't be laughed at anywhere But fairly represented Now they say we're lazy and we're dirty gut But what's the use to grumble Whenever they enter an Irish cot They're made welcome though it's humble In public works the country round And where hard work is to be found In railway tunnel on our ground You'll find the boys from Ireland Do me justice, treat me fair And I won't be discontented I won't be laughed at anywhere But fairly represented Oh, it's very true that I like a glass Sure, it makes my heart feel frisky I'm very fond of an Irish lass And I'm partial to the whiskey I'm very quiet when left alone I'll do what I like with what's my own Oh, but oh, be to the foe a Who dares run down old Ireland Do me justice, treat me fair And I won't be discontented I won't be laughed at anywhere But fairly represented Lovely. Very appropriate. So we'll go back to the guards now and see what they have for us. How are you lads? Hi Gord. <laughs> Alright, uh, what have you got? What have you got for us? Uh, what are you writing down in your notebook there? Leinster Jersey Guard. Come on, let us see what you're doing. No, come on, come on. Let, 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 him, let him see. Take it easy. Hey, other guard, can you get <laughs> Let me see. No, no, no. no let, let, let's see. Can you no, grab that see. notebook off him? Show us we'll give you another donut if you take that notebook no, off him. No, come on, come on. What are you, no, on. You don't take, take it off. No, we're not going to take it. Just show us. Show Just show us. us. Come on. <laughs> can we get a camera close up on the one? That's right there. Oh, he doesn't want to show that. What is it? A poem or something? The guard writing. What does it say? I am a good guarder. He is a good guard. He is. He's almost finished his training. Ten more folks. Fair play to you. Now that wasn't so hard. You are starting to enjoy yourselves, are you? I have a wee bit. Yeah. What are you drawing? I I I was a little drawing. Show the camera what you're drawing. That's lovely. That's a great old picture. It was a guard a car with the horn on it and all. The Nino is a dangerous criminal in the back seat, and a guard a hero in the front seat. Ah, that's really good. It's the law. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, that, that's awesome. Oh, okay. They're not all bad, folks. It's against the law to smoke cannabis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Do you hear that, Sean? <laughs> that's great. It's a cannabis leaf with a, an axe going through it. Ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's great. great. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Two, you know, lads, if you keep it up, you could end up here on the bar still singing and all that sort of stuff. Have you any comments for us, though? Well, you, know, you do, you have comments. Right. We prefer the comments, like, to be honest. We don't want to see your fucking drones. Uh, <clears throat> I'll do a shout out now. Uh, uh, this one is we got a message earlier from uh, uh, to our website, which is an odd one to our website, but you can contact yeah, us on our website. Just go to marywallopers.com <laughs> forward slash contact and you can send us Boom. whatever you want. You can even send us bad messages if you like. Pro- we'll read them, probably. So right we're not at that stage yet that we want that we have someone to divert all this stuff. Well, we have the lads there. Just, They're yeah. doing a good job. We next so we got. Uh, we'd, we'd like to wish Amy Brewer in the USA a happy retirement of 33 years as an elementary school teacher. And Amy was saying that she hopes that we continue to do uh, live performances when uh, uh, on online. <laughs> Uh, when the actual physical life performances come back so they can still watch. Absolutely, Amy, and we hope you enjoy your Mary Wallopers retirement party, uh, but never ever retire from us. There you go. <laughs> there you go. We want to give a, a shout out to Manus, who's been missing his regular sessions in Dublin, and he has to put up with us. 
So hope you're enjoying it. Too bad. A shout out to Hiken as well. Uh, uh, from Hiken to the wifey Molly Phelan, who's watching the stream here beside Lovely. me. Lovely. And uh, who else? Carla Mulligan says shout out to Curry Chips. We can all. That's we can good on you, Carla. Yeah, you know, that's the way uh, Carlo people. We've yeah. touched on this before, but that's the way Carlo people say Carlo. They say Carla. Carla. <laughs> anyway, have we got any more uh, shout outs there? Uh, Siobhan from the vegetable route. Oh, yes. Oh, lovely. She's after us feeding us again yeah. today. On, uh, oh, fair play, Follow Siobhan. the vegetable That's route on Instagram. O R O U T E. It's also a pun. Yeah, it's, it's a pun. pun. It's clever. It's vegetable it's route. It's clever. It's clever, you know. Unless you're, you get to say the vegetable route. There we go, in here now. Brian W. Interesting name. Uh, shout out to my wife Susan, who's expecting our first. Not miss a stream yet. Not sure yet if we. We'll call the baby Sean. Oh my god, Sean, Charles, or Andrew. <laughs> Fair play. I go for Sean. It's a good standard name. Yeah, Sean's a great name. Very exotic. <laughs> <laughs> Ours are a bit English Charles. sounding. Ours are a bit English sounding. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, right. Is there more shout outs? Cheers, mate. I hammer through them. Do you read out? One of the guards is lovely writing. Uh, Brona Macken. Uh, can you give a wee shout out to my three lovely daughters, Katie, Susie, and Lily, who love watching the live stream? Hello, Katie, Susie, and Lily. Hope you're all well. And uh, uh, whenever you start singing ballads, you'll have your own live stream. But stay away from drink. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's at home. Any chance you could get uh, any? Uh, Marty Barry says, any chance you could get Tag Mulligan on with you some week? Some dancer, that fella. God well, I tell you, he is some dancer. And Tag, if you're watching, it'd be lovely to have you on some week. If only you could keep your mouth shut. We'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. have Sarah on any day. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, right. Um, okay, we've got a lot of them. Did you do this yet? Which was that? You did them already, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Hey, that challenge was. Uh, we have a drawing competition, we should probably go to that. We should do the drawing competition. Yeah. Everyone wants it. Do you want to see the drawing competition? I love it. Yeah, so. Do you, want, mm. do you want to see? We have to say, we have a bigger team in here than usual. We've got uh, Connor, Gar, Andrew, Noonan, the two guards in the corner. Uh, Gar, we hear, is a lovely singer now, in fairness, but. Uh, Gar might do us a song. What'd you do with the song, Gar? Go on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, come on, you might. You're too busy. I'm for fuck's fuck sake, eh? Hey. <laughs> what the fuck does the cameraman do anyway? Stand there going. Do you, do you know <laughs> safe <laughs> last night? Would you give us a song, Gar? Go on, you buy ya. Right, we'll, we'll get him again, we'll get him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. Right, can we... So, we had a drawing competition. Am I looking in here? Yeah, I am. There's, a, there's, that many, there's that Hi many there. bloody cameras that just got... It got, it got <laughs> mad out of hand. <laughs> moon landing. So we had a serious, serious amount of drawing, uh, drawings in. Uh, so uh, to anyone that got in late, we'll actually show your drawings next week and if, uh, we might send you a pint glass for the crack. But uh, uh, So the other surprise is that if you sent in a drawing, we've actually got a celebrity to pick out their favourite drawings. So we're going here's, to take a wee break now. Savage. It's actually uh, Brian Kennedy, <laughs> the famous up. singer. Uh, no. No, so we're going to take a wee break, and while we're breaking, you're going to see a slideshow of all the drawings that we could collect before the moment, and you can have a look at them, so and your drawing ideas. will be in there if you, if you got it in in time. So go have a look Best at the lovely drawings, and we'll see you in five minutes with the winners.
Hello, welcome back. Uh, what a beautiful selection of drawings, and we really have to say thanks very much. We're going to print them all out, and we're going to stick them all in this uh, pub that we have. So, the special guest that we've gotten, at the very last minute we decided we needed a celebrity guest. And uh, we asked a fella from Kerry, he was actually on the very first live stream, was there from the very start, wasn't he guys? And uh, <clears throat> he, uh, he decided he'd pick six winners out at Lottie, so uh, here is Junior Brother. Wow! Uh, it was Colin kind of, kind of saying no sound. Oh. But I'm bad. I said you're on mute. Tell him to shut up, Are we on mute? <laughs> yeah. No, there. Adrian, I mean... Can you hear us? Yeah, there's... Tell them to shut up, they, They're on a delay, so maybe they, they thought we were talking to them, but we yeah. were actually talking in the background. <laughs> Now we're like Daniel and Now Magella. we're like Daniel and Magella. <laughs> Can somebody find out what the hell is happening? Hello, the Merry Wallopers. What's the crack? Hello, everyone watching. Um, it's good to be here. And can I just say, every single one of the drawings were fantastic. You have very talented fans and very good drawers, draw draftsmen. Um, so I've, but I've picked six, uh, six of the drawings that I thought were the best, and um, the drawings I picked were as follies. Uh, the first drawing, which I thought was the best, was by R L Y Descent. Interesting name. The second drawing was by Bill Hazard. And then I picked Owen Quigley. My fourth drawing, I picked Erin Clark. For the fifth drawing, and this is in no particular order, they're all fantastic, I picked James McBride. <coughs> Excuse me. And for the sixth drawing, I picked Jamie Leapert. And that's a very special one because it was a drawing of Martin the Cat playing the guitar. And I enjoyed that one. But again, I enjoyed all six. And indeed, I enjoyed all drawings that were done. Um, if anybody would like to draw me, uh, I can send you my address. And you can come to my house and draw me. Uh, other than that, enjoy the rest of your stream. And we'll see you soon for some real life um, stout and porter. Goodbye. Thank you. Fair play. laws at gmail.com with your address and your contact details and we will send ye on a lovely glass but the surprise part of it is that anyone who entered is going to get Mary Walloper stickers sent to them so anyone that entered send us an email saying uh, I w entered your drawing competition we'll know if you're lying don't lie so uh, send, you send on your address, address and you're lying we'll come to your house and fucking and call you out and Sean will point to, the I man, to the man who won our competition there uh, about Four weeks ago. We're sending you a pint glass. It's coming your way. <laughs> See, we aren't the best at Dale's timing, but she sure looked no harm. So send, send your address to us if you entered our drawing competition, if you want a sticker. And if you don't send them in the next week, we won't send them. <laughs> so on the topic of blowing statues up, uh, here's a... You know, people have been destroying... Did you hear about this? People oh. have been destroying Jeez, statues. I, I never thought I'd say it, but I wish I lived in England. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people have been destroying statues find, all over statues. the place. I'm sure there's plenty of statues. People, so what's he called your man in Limerick? Richard Harris. No, the other one. Terry Wogan. Yeah, Terry Wogan. Fuck it, he's on the keys. Oh, he's all right. He's, not, he's grand. <laughs> At least he wasn't a slave trader. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so yeah, people are going around pulling down statues and a load of people are going... That's a, dis that's a disgrace. They're doing nothing for, for the causes that they're talking about. It actually really is disgusting to see them vandalising public property. But us here in Ireland have a very rich history of blowing up statues. 
And here is a song about that, with another little bit about the statue of that bollocks, Edward Colston being pulled down in Bristol. Uh-oh, Colston goes swim And if it offends anyone uh, about the pulling down Edward Colston statue, well, fuck off. Laughing the gallows. You don't be fucking laughing. You are supposed to be against this sort of stuff. Edward Colston lived in Bristol on a plinth down by the sea. And he made his living off the back of slavery. In the middle of the summertime, he took a dip into the brine and now he studies marine biology. And to all the people grieving, the sea is always heaving. There's lots of room for bastards in the sea. Oh, poor old Admiral Nelson is no longer in the air. On the 8th day of March in Dublin City Fair. From his stand of stone and mortar, he went crashing through the quarter, where once he stood so stiff and proud and rude. Oh, let's sing our celebration, it's a service to the nation. Poor old Admiral Nelson to the loo. For 157 years he stood up there in state. To the loo, 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 loo. To mark old Nelson's victory or the French or Spanish fleet. To the loo, 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 loo. Oh, in Trafalgar Square it might seem fair to have El Nelson standing there, but no one tells the Irish what the view. Oh, let's sing our celebration, it's a service to the nation, for El Admiral Nelson to renew. Oh, 50 pounds of jellig a night, it sent him on his way. To and whoever laid the charges, we're in debt to them today. Oh, at half one in the morning, now without a shot of warning, Lord Nelson took some powder and he blew. And at last the corporation can stop the liberation, for the boys of Ireland show them what to do. Oh, the Russians and the Yanks. But their lunar probes they play And Elon Musk is trying hard to make up lost headway Oh, and now the Irish join the race We put an astronaut in space I'll let me buy the tower power too And at last the Irish nation have Parnell in higher station for old Admiral Nelson to the loo, and for old Admiral Nelson to the loo. So you see, folks, blowing up statues is actually great crack. <laughs> if they were a bollocks when they were a statue, they were probably a bollocks when they were alive as well. <laughs> right, what are we moving on to now? So, unless we have more comments from the guards, you got? Have you got any good? Any good lads? Whistleblowers in the chat. Right, go on. <laughs> right. No. Whistleblowers. <clears throat> Hello, <clears throat> Mr. Wallopper. Could you give a shout out to my dad, Finton, who has fallen asleep from too much drinking? Tearing an old crib. The man, Finton. Finton, you'll see this tomorrow. Fair play to you for going. 100% on it. <laughs> where was he? Finton, where was he? He didn't say where he was. Well, who was the person, Tiernan? Tiernan. Tiernan, fair play. 
You've got a, you've got a good man there in the house. Right. Uh, uh, we'll go with uh, Katrine Frankel. I hope I'm saying that right. To Tina, Atty, Anne and uh, Kirsten are watching from uh, Wismar in Germany. And we do miss Smidix and Guinness so much. Hugs and kisses. I actually read that the way it was written. It says, we do miss Smidix and Guinness. So much hugs and kisses. I thought it said so much hugs and kisses, but it means we do miss Smidix and Guinness so much. So, uh, well, Kana, look, Kana you'll get it, you'll get it again soon. Anyway, we wouldn't drink that muck Guinness. It's Beamish we're counting on to give us a load of free drink. Mm. God, Beamish, the time's running out. <laughs> Beamish is so old, they probably don't have actual watches. They have stopwatches and things like that. Or they have just a big stone dial in the centre of their factory. It's starting the taste, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's starting to taste know, a bit like warm. Nice. Spe- Are you reading some of them? Do you? Did he hand you? No, you didn't no, hand him any. No more. You don't really see anything, Charlie. You can I read, you can read them. They'll have a little wacky debacle. First. Well, let him read, we'll read these first. Oh, Chrissy, okay, is he? Oh, thanks for having us on here. Luchessi. Well, I always heard the other way. I always heard it the other way. I always heard it the other way. I always heard it the other way. I knew a father school and he was Luchessi, right? All right. Big shout out to Alvaro. Yeah, up, Alvaro. Alvaro, how are you, Alvaro? Marissa and Kate. Wait, is this all the same? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kate, Mary, Kiva, <laughs> Daisy, and the dog, or oh, Daisy the dog, in Happy Valley. Yep, one of my favourite places. Happy in the Valley, whole town. Yeah, probably. Yeah, some members of the crew from Happy Valley. Valley. It's also said there, pronounced Luke Casey. Well, that's a, that, Lou Casey. You're fucking told me. We were saying it right, it says it there. Lou Casey. Lou Chesney is like. That's the Italian, Italian guard wrote that. <laughs> that like, was the Italian, Italian. guard. It was the Italian guard has given us uh, lessons here in the corner. Imagine an Italian guard. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> uh, Ronan Leonard says, When Sean is driving, is he able to sense speed cameras picking up his car the same way he manages to look right at every camera in a Mary Wallopers live stream? Um, I actually haven't driven the car in ages. I don't have tax and insurance. It's off the road. Ah, and that stops you from driving. Well, well I did in the past. So off, you know. <laughs> uh, there we go. Right. Get it ready. Give it a song. Um, God damn it, man! Me for a song. Yeah, yeah you. I'm forever singing songs. Right, come on. Um, Do you not like it? These are Piddler. Yeah. What's this one about, John? It's about a man who who uh, is no 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 inter- I, not, I wouldn't say he's no interest in the women. Maybe he has a bit, but he doesn't want to, them to rule rule his world. He rather just uh, tipping away the pints and a. I want it to be spring break forever. Spring break forever. It's like <laughs> Peter Pan. Um, Peter Pan never yeah. wants to grow up, but this fella just wants to do There's a song like... about the storyline of Hulk that's in it with Robin Williams in it. Hulk. Hey, you want it, John? Handsome, tall and young until at length I did discover that she had a false and a flattering tongue Oh, if I had have loved her, foolish would I be But love will never, never conquer me Ah, no, no nor no, anyone no, will be cut or all Or keep me from my flowing bow When I am single, single, I am free And love will never, never conquer me Some riches and I might have to take a wife But we would fight for the old riches And she would lead a terrible life Ah, but boys, no, this never could be For love will never, never conquer me Ah, no, or anyone will be conquer all And keep me from my flowing ball When I am single, single I am free And love will never, never conquer me Across the ocean wave to where I could die without emotion, and these last words put above my grave. Ah, oh, here lies a youth that never was tied to any old nag or scolding bride. For when I am single, single I am free, and love will never, never conquer me. Oh, no, nor anyone will me conquer all, keep me from 
Flan Clancy, I don't know Frank him. Frank Clancy. No, Frank he's not. Clancy. That's, the, that's the wrong one. Tom Clancy. Clancy. Frank Clancy was the, was the uh, Clancy brother that looked like a serial killer. He looked like he just strangled you. He'd like fucking pick you up you. by the neck. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> they got their dues. Now, come on, lads. I know you're used to having, having people around here taking it for a ride in Greenwich Village in New York in the 60s. And I'm. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. send Frank into him, and Frank goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> like that, and just picks up the promoter and one puts man, him through it. One man, Frank. He's a great lad. No bit of man <laughs> That's Frank Clancy. Have you ever looked up photos of him? He's a big, Somebody huge. Somebody's fucking turf boy. This is a... <laughs> he just pick up the whole bog like a carpet on his shoulder and throw it into the back of a lorry. We want to say hello to Amy and Johnny in West Yorkshire, who have made a Guinness cake in our honour. Oh, holy. holy moly. Send it over. Uh, Send us over the Guinness cake. They're asking for Charles is only talking about Guinness Oak, today. So, uh, Do you remember that? Talk about Guinness pints and how disgusting they are compared to the lovely, beautiful Beamish <coughs> for the next Eileen week. Eileen <laughs> but they're asking for Eileen Oak, Oak, so this is for you, Amy and Johnny. Hold on, I need to get my guitar pick. It's actually part of the equipment of playing the guitar. It's a very simple technical thing that musicians <laughs> do. We're coming towards the end. Keep this up as well. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh my God. Oh, no. Okay, right. That's all right. Right, we, well, we might, well, we got him Leave though. Him from... Yeah, let's just get him, let's just get him there. It'll be easier. Hopefully he's not as narky this time. Come here, man. Don't need to, we, we won't give him the dreamies yet. Oh, he's going over to... No. He's going over to his pal. We'll we come back to him, we'll come back to him, we'll come back to him. Martin, don't you be piddling on things, I know how much you love it. Right. What we're doing. We'll go back to this. Uh... Oh, I need no. Oh, that me darling's name is true. The barony. Her features, they were famous. If we loved her, who was there to blame us? Or wasn't she the pride of Pedro Vaux? Oh, but our beauty made us all so shy. What oh, devil a one among us could look her in the eye? Boys, oh, boys, now that's the reason why. We're in morning for the pride of Petrival. Oh, I lean up, we had to turn a grey ever since the day I wandered far away. He made a the rubber bird He stole away the pride of Petrovoy Oh, he never seen me see the girl at all Hey, when she had a glint from underneath the shawl Looking big and not a belly She was a bit small But I was going to do the pride of Petrovoy Oh, I didn't know me had to turn the grey And for since the day I wandered far away Bent upon the winning, the old McGrath just the captain grinning, the old car to play the play the better ball. Say, you know what, guard? We're not
Wait a minute. That's a real jizzy number, isn't it? This is now a jazzy number from the Wallopers. I was jizzed out of my bloody you know mind. That's the song we do when we're on RT and they spell our name as the Wallopers. <laughs> the Wallopers. The Wallopers. We were only on RT once and they spell our name the Wallopers. But that's, but a a that's how you spell it. That's a Wallopers place. number. That's, 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 that's the way we'd spell it if we were playing in the Helix. Crash bank Wallopers. The Wallopers at the Helix for one night only with Baldon Lennes doing back and, <laughs> <laughs> back and vocals. I don't like the way he's looking at me, lads, the whole way, the whole time. Don't worry about him, don't look at him. See the way he's looking at me, can we please? No, no, sorry, acknowledge him. He's not moving a muscle, hey, he's like a, he's like a, he's like a robo guard or something. They're all robo guards. Skynet. That's why they break their, they they break down their, uh, receptors. Anyway, uh, do cut liver in the urges. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Um, Even the Fab Studio audience. This is our last song. Uh, it's, a, it's a little number called the Cod Liver Oil. Eh? The Cod Liver. It's just called the Cod Liver. And the orange juice. <coughs> I'm just shake out all the bad. He's looking at me again. Do you see the way he's looking at me? Oh my, stop! Stop confronting him. He's still looking at me like that. You the other fella, I'm not so worried about. Look at it. Look at his hair. I don't even hardly think he's got that fella is uh, looking at him. J1. He looks like he's he looks like he wants to hit me or something. Guess, hey. guess, man, man. Anyway. Mo, 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 mo. Do you mind if we keep the cameras rolling after this because I, I, I'm concerned until I at least get home out of the... Come on, man, be a professional. Eh? Come on. <clears throat> the east there came a hard man oh ho ho all the way to Brooklyn ah glory hallelujah cod liver oil and the orange juice he went into a pub and he came out paralytic oh ho ho VP and cider ah what a hell of a mixture Cod liver oil and the orange juice. Does this bus go to the Darniston Palais? Oh ho ho, I'm looking for a lumber ride. Get Lord, hallelujah. Cod liver oil and the orange juice. There in the dancing, he met Harry Mary. Oh ho ho. The flower of the gorbels, ah, 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 ah. glory, hallelujah, cod liver oil and the orange juice. Oh no, Mary, you're one in a million. Oh ho ho, and shows your chances. Ah, 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 ah. glory, hallelujah, cod liver oil and the orange juice. Mary, are you dancing? Oh, oh no, it's just a wee I'm stung. Ah, 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 hallelujah. Cod liver oil and the orange juice. <laughs> oh, no, Mary, can I run you home? Oh, ho, oh, ho, oh, I've got a pair of sun shoes. Ah, 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 ah. You're a hell of a funny. Cod liver oil and the orange juice In through the back clothes and out through the dunny Oh, oh, oh. it wasn't for the first time ah, Glory, hallelujah Cod liver oil and the orange juice The mother came out She was going to the clergy Oh, oh, oh I buggered off sharpish, ha ah, ah, ah. glory, hallelujah, cod liver oil and the orange juice. Harry Mary had a little baby, oh ho ho, the father's in the army, ah, ah, ah. glory, hallelujah, cod liver oil and the orange juice. 
Mary, Mary, still looking for her hired man. Oh, ho, ho, he joined the foreign legion. As a hero under a camel, but the royal and the orange juice. Cod liver royal and the orange juice. Thank you very much, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, if you feel like donating, if you have a few <coughs> spare coins in your wallet, throw them out to us, 50%. Don't be wasting the money on a new belt. Just take the weight out of the pants. <laughs> 50% goes to uh, SVP, Dundalk in particular. The um, we're making so much money for Dundalk too. They should make us the government. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, okay, thank you very much for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic time. And until we see you again from us and the guards over in the corner. Don't be messing. Uh, Good luck and good night from Be the nice water. Woo! Woo! Woo!
He said he'd treat us all to a pint of Beamish, not dirty rotten Guinness. He'd never drink tea. <laughs> so as quick as we could, we all went out to a public house in Rotio. Today, me lads, I'd love to see you. And said I will ne'er do a fucking thing. Well, I said, tell you the room will make a ring and I'll fight you all in Rotio. <laughs> We had to find a place to sleep And we were all too drunk to even creep But we found the place was very cheap In a single room in Rotsio We all are down to take our ease When one of us happened Or four to sneeze And he awakened half a million fleas In a single room in Rotsio <laughs> Several different types of pest. A few of them jumped inside me vest. They grabbed me hairs and they made their nest. And they cried, Hurrah for Rotsio! Said I, I think I'll head for home. And we swore we never more would roam. And we're scratched until we sing this song. This will be our last song, and it's for Mother England. And and thank you all for watching. For another man. <clears throat> oh. My last, the famous last shout out. You thought there was none left, but there was. <laughs> this is for Sean McGee oh. and his wife. Sean, right. sorry if I made a mistake there. Sean McGee from Or and Or magazine over in Cleet or Moore uh, in England, I assume it's in. I'm sorry, Sean, or Wales maybe. Or it's, it's over there anyway. Uh, and it's also known as Little Ireland because it's built essentially on Irish immigration. So, or and or magazine is an independent music magazine that's been going in Britain for a long time now and it's a very good magazine and just like us, it's DIY and it's very good. Um, so, uh, this is for Sean McGee. This is God Bless England. England. I don't know. I need to get that thing again. Which thing? So, Sean McGee. Here we go. Get your picture on. Do we do this up here, do we? Yeah, indeed. Get all your things. This is, for, this is dedicated to all the uh, fallen statues across uh, Britain <coughs> the last two weeks. Good. I'll tell you a tale of peace and love. Whack fall the diddle and the dido thing Of a land that rules all lands above A whack fall the diddle and the dido thing May peace and plenty be her share Who kept our homes from want and tear Oh, God bless England is our prayer A whack fall the diddle and the dido thing A whack fall the diddle and the dido thing So we say, everybody, come and listen while we play A whack fall the diddle and the dido thing Savage, fierce and wild A whack fall the diddle and the dido day She came like a mother to her only child A whack fall the diddle and the dido day She took us from primeval slime And kept our hands from want and crime And she sent us to heaven in her own good time A whack fall the diddle and the dido day A whack fall the diddle and the dido day So we say Come and listen while we play. Our fathers are naughty boys. Our fathers are naughty guns and bikes are dangerous toys. Our fathers are naughty boys. From the GPO to Poland's Mill, we made Mother England cry herself. But old Britannia loves us still. Our fathers are naughty boys. Our fathers are naughty boys. So we say, everybody. Come and listen away we play. Now Irishmen 
and forget the past. Like for the diddle and the die do day. And think of a day that's coming fast. I like for the diddle and the die do day. When we shall all be civilized. <laughs> Neat and clean. And well advised. Uh, won't Mother England be. Uh, <laughs> won't, uh, won't Mother England be surprised. I like follow the diddle and the die do day. I like follow the diddle and the die do day. So we say. Come and listen while we play. Whack on the diddle and the diddle day. So we say, Everybody, God bless, sing, and so we'll say, Whack on the diddle and the diddle day. Thank you very much. Good night. Good night. It's been great. Tiny <laughs> 